residents of Newfoundland's capital woke up without the ability to walk out their front door. A monster blizzard that blasted St. John's and other nearby towns left many snowed in. I'm out shoveling. Uh, I realize how futile this looks, but we're supposed to get up to 70 centimeters of snow, something like that. So I have this weird logic that if I come out every few hours, then it won't be so bad and tomorrow it won't be up to here. By the time it was all over, more than 70 centimeters of new snow was on the ground in some areas. Throughout the storm, we couldn't see much out of the windows. Um, so when we did get a look at it this morning, it was, uh, it was quite shocking. Treacherous wind gusts strong enough to blow you over. The wind was, was, was frightening. The only good news was I don't have to worry about my Christmas, taking down my Christmas decorations because they're gone. The couch would start shaking and the, uh, the drinks on the, uh, on the end tables would start moving. And an unrelenting blitz of snow, enough to declare a state of emergency, warning everyone indoors and vehicles off the roads. Not that you could get into your car if you wanted to, or even get to it. The last time there was a state of emergency called, there was 1984, and that was the year I was born. To get the, the combination that we got last night was, was pretty scary, and uh, I haven't seen it uh, in my lifetime and hope to probably never see it again in my lifetime. There's no easy way out of this. It, it doesn't matter who you are or where you are, there's going to be a ton of work here. You likely won't see a snowplow on your street. Local taxi company Jiffy Cabs even pulled vehicles off the roads for the first time in the company's history. But people are determined to dig out, armed with a snowblower and some hustle. Even for a place that's used to brutal winters, this was something else. It was literally a killer storm. If you found yourself outside in that storm, five, ten minutes. It was unlike anything I've ever seen. I heard one person say, and, and, I, and I think it's a probably a pretty good way to, to sum it up, this is one for the ages. Though it's nothing Newfoundlanders can handle. You live in Newfoundland. I mean, if you live in Newfoundland, these things happen. Newfoundlanders, they take it all in stride. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has tweeted that the federal government stands ready to help Newfoundlanders in any way they can. The public safety minister said a request for assistance in digging out from the blizzard, including from the military, has been approved. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.